Hey, hey, Scorpio, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your February 2024 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Scorpio, welcome to February. Your key themes for the month are Animal Kingdom, Authenticity, and Flexibility. This is interesting. A lot of signs have been getting the Animal Kingdom, and one of the biggest energies that I feel coming up is unconditional love. So there could be a lot of lessons around loving yourself, choosing yourself first. This may have to do with companionship, whether it shows up in the form of animals, whether it shows up in the form of friendships, support, because this can talk about emotional support pets. Some of you may be receiving signs and symbols through animals, whether it be your dreams, maybe it is a hawk that passes you or an eagle that flies over your vehicle. So do pay attention to the animals that show up in your life in the month of February. For some of you, this is your own pets, your own animals, even if they've crossed over the rainbow bridge. So Animal Kingdom is your first card out here. And for a lot of you, yes, it does have to do with unconditional love and companionship. That may be something you're seeking. That could be some major lessons that you've had to go through. Now, you also have authenticity and flexibility. There's something here about you being true to yourself. I am getting the energy here of integrity. Okay, authenticity shows up and this is about your unique vision, Scorpio. So whether this be in your career, whether this be your goals, I'm getting a little bit of that two of wands energy, even though I don't see it out here on the board, I feel like you're planning your next steps. There are some choices and some decisions to make here because at the bottom of the deck, we do have conflict choices and gifts as well. So this is what's going on subconsciously where some of you, there has been possibly an obstacle or even a trigger, competition, some sort of opposing view that you've been in a little bit of a tug of war game with. That may be why I'm getting that two of wands. But the good news is this is the month where you're finding solutions. I do see the ace of wands here on the board, but you're going to have to make a choice. This does have to do with decision making and your gifts as well. This could be your spiritual gifts. This could be a celebratory energy, a gift gift coming in from the universe because you've been putting in the effort, you've been putting in the work, but I also see here whatever choice you make, it's it's going to be based on your own unique vision, not what someone else thinks is best for you, not someone else's idea. This is about you and you're being guided to step into this energy here, not hold your light back, not apologize for your truth because you're the real deal. You have some very powerful gifts here, Scorpio. And I feel like a lot of you are stepping into more of your spiritual gifts, whether it be clairaudience, clairvoyance, empathy, mediumship, astral travel. It could be reading tarot cards, trusting and tuning in more to your intuition. I am getting here uh, healing energy for some of you. So whatever it is that you are embracing, it could even be the gift of communication, being able to connect and tune in with others. And they also see this side of you that is very real, that is very ethical, that's honest. And this is about your inner truth and feeling comfortable within your own skin, within your own gifts and talents. Now you have the flexibility card showing up here. So some of you, there could be a new energy that you are adapting to in the month of February. This could be, <coughs> excuse me, whether it's gifts within yourself, it could be relationship, finances, health, you are being asked to be adaptable because there could be some divine detours that do show up for you. This is the card of change, expansion, new ideas, movement, yoga, and going more with the flow. So for those of you who've been stuck in this tug of war and there's been a sense of resistance in a specific area of your life, I get that things are going to move forward for you in the month of February. 
All right, so diving in here, you start off with the Six of Pentacles. This is the card of reciprocity, equal give and take. When it comes to love, this is all about sharing your resources. It's about both people putting in the effort. And I do feel for a lot of you, this could be friendships, this could be at work, this could be family members, this could be partnerships. It's important here where... The, the scales are balanced. If you are putting in all of the work that breeds bitterness and resentment and uh, even anger, and sometimes we suppress that, creating dis-ease. So if there is anyone that you feel the, the scales are imbalanced here, because you can see that she is holding those scales, it's important that you are flexible or adaptable. You make some changes to bring balance into this energy. This could also be some sort of financial backing. It could be you asking for a loan and the bank helping you out, right? It could be you asking for maybe compensation for your work and receiving it in return. So again, it is the card of reciprocity and being able to feel uh, respected, feel honored. It's about teamwork. It is about uh, beneficiary as well. So I feel like there could be some sort of assistance. Maybe you are the beneficiary. Maybe you are helping someone else out. But I feel like ultimately it doesn't have to be money. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. It could be time compensated for money. It could be you doing a good act and you feeling good in return. So there is something here that is coming back into balance after feeling, again, tug of war. Like there was too much time, too much energy going into something and you just didn't feel recompensed or you didn't feel heard, valued, seen, respected. That's coming to uh, an end, I feel. Because your next card out, Scorpio, is the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is all about the truth, right? This sword cuts through any of the fluff. This sword is all about the truth. It is rising above adversity. And this is interesting because the Six of Pentacles sometimes can't even be... You can see the, the beggar here. And so it can be about seeing other people as they as they represent themselves, but seeing beyond the surface, seeing to the soul of a person. And I feel for some of you, you love so deeply, Scorpio. You like to see the good in all. And sometimes that can be at your own expense. Sometimes you can bend over backwards and feel even like a doormat or feel like you are being taken advantage of. But I see here that you're rising above some sort of adversity and you're healing a situation and you're still staying true and good to your heart and to your integrity and you're staying humble, which is, <coughs> excuse me, which is beautiful here. Now, when it comes to money, this is about inspiration, possibly a new job, but more importantly, it's about getting the clarity that you need to make that choice that we see showing up in your subconscious here. And it could be actually showing up in your conscious energy of finally needing to make that choice this month. Maybe you've been pondering it. It's been something that's been sitting in the back burner. How do I... How do I create this new income source? How do I open my heart up to love? Do I stay in this relationship? Do I sell my home? Whatever it is that you've been contemplating, there is an act of physical movement towards possibly what it is that you truly seek. And I feel like there is a partnership here for you because right in the middle of your reading, we have the two of cups. This could be a romantic partnership. It could be a collaboration between you and someone who inspires you at work or in your career or in your creative talents. There is a coming together here. For some of you, it could be that the truth of the matter is you're cutting through the truth and you're saying, you know, maybe this is unrequited. Maybe this isn't the two of cups that I thought because you do have the card of uh, unrequited love here showing up with the romance angels. So some of you, it could be removing yourself from some sort of, of soul contract. For others of you, it's coming together to create harmony, balance, and mutual respect, which we see that showing up here on the Six of Pentacles. Mutual respect is important, regardless if this person is a beggar or not. And I also feel like if you're not getting anything in return, if it's not of inherent value to you, and it's draining your energy, you are walking away or leaving a situation, 
okay? This is about partnerships, yeah, that inspire you, that fulfill you, that are based on reciprocity, that are honest, trustworthy, and fill your cup. You can see that they're both, both of their cups are being uh, filled there. This is divine energy with masculine and feminine. This could also be yourself coming together within your uh, masculinity, femininity, being able to receive the blessings, be able to, you know, feel that flow. I get that energy of back and forth here for you quite strong in this reading. So if you're not getting that, that's the conflict you're resolving here. Okay, there could even be a gift that someone does give you or offer you. I am getting a strong Ace of Cups energy as well. So this is about grace and inspiration. It is about uh, a new connection in matters of, you know, the heart, possibly. You have the Page of Swords showing up here. Some of you, this may involve children. There could be some sort of message, news, or communication that does come in. Uh, Page of Swords can be immature relationship dynamics, or it could be that you're dealing with someone who doesn't quite have the knowledge to be able to move forward in the ways that you would hope, or you could work with someone who may feel a little bit immature, but yet they may be the boss, right? So I do feel here that it's important for you to focus on your projects, uh, study, research, put yourself, they're giving me um, nose to the grindstone, nose to the grindstone. So some of you could be getting to work on something, Maybe it's a course, a workshop, or you're learning and discovering more about yourself because you want to grow from a situation. You want to expand your opportunities here for not just maturity, but education, knowledge. Swords is all about the mental. It's all about uh, communication, making decisions. It's about the intellect here. So I feel like you are researching some ways to overcome these obstacles that may have presented themselves. Now you have the four of swords here as well. So this is a time to heal. Okay. We see that with the ace of swords. So some of you, maybe you were overthinking, overworking, perhaps some of you were studying, going back to school here, you were thinking about making a move, and some of you, it's like I get a brain freeze here. You know when you eat something very cold really quickly and you get a brain freeze? I kind of feel that way because you have been maybe overthinking things a little too much, or maybe someone comes in and gives you this truth and it puts things into perspective here for you, but this is a much needed time for yourself. This is very important here. It doesn't mean that you can't be with other people, other family members, but it's important that you fill your own cup. And this is sword energy as well. So this is rest after hard work. Otherwise you're gonna burn yourself out. And some of you may have already burnt yourself out, but if you haven't, it's important for you to take this time for yourself Maybe even step outside of the problem to help you find a solution here. It's about your own authenticity. Some of you are healers as well with this Four of Swords. This can be the card of rest, retreat, renewal, taking a break, regrouping. This could be something that you help other people with. And maybe you're finding ways to be flexible around your healing because maybe you still have that job to do or you have you know children to take care of or you have a family or food up to put on the table there's just an energy here of trying to find that balance which we see showing up for you <coughs> excuse me but towards the <coughs> towards the end of the month here we see you finally being able to take a little bit of a break seven of pentacles so we start off with the six and we see a lot of shifts happening here for you throughout the month but towards the end of February, we have the Seven of Pentacles. And you can see that this farmer's in the field. He has already planted his seeds. And this is time for him to, to let the universe work its magic, right? Wait for the sun to come out, the rain, the environment, and just wait for his garden to grow in a sense. I feel like you're coming really close to harvest here. This is about small steps towards improving your heart, your healing, your love life, your money. You're going to start to see gains here towards the end of February. So don't give up because some of you, you are in a business or you are 
self-employed, possibly trying to get something off the ground. Maybe there's a hobby or a creative idea that you have. For others of you, perhaps you went in for a promotion, a new job opportunity. I see with this Ace of Swords here, there's going to be some sort of breakthrough for you in the month of February, where you will see gains towards the end of the month, okay? Especially if you're opening up to your own gifts here, okay? Especially if you make a choice where you're trusting your own intuition. And look at this, at the bottom of the deck, or at the bottom of the card, we see the word balance. So I absolutely feel without a doubt that something is coming back into balance here for you that really kind of threw you for a little bit of a loop, right? And maybe you had to go back to the drawing board and that's why I was getting that strong two of wands energy where you had to reconfigure, replan maybe some future goals for yourself. But you're definitely going to get that sunshine. I feel like, yes, you're going to have those rainy days, but we need those rainy days, right? When it comes to growing our garden, we need that rain. We need the sun. So in a way, it's like you needed some of those challenges. You needed the, the good opportune moments as well. And it's all coming together. And you're going to see how your garden grows here. And I do feel by March, April, um, there's going to be some sort of harvest ready to be picked in a really beautiful way. All right. Now, when it comes to wealth, abundance, money, and career, you have the tower, the feather, the candle. A lot of signs have been getting the feather because this is my Aquarian energy, which uh, Aquarius is currently uh, in the, the sun sign. And this is all about working smarter, not harder, using that brilliant mind to connect to the divine mind, right? It's about divine intervention coming in. It's all about abundance, light work. Some of you are thinking about traveling, relocating, or maybe there is a little bit of indecision going on here because of the, the two of uh, the swords energy and the choices that I see here in your reading. But I feel by the end of the month, you're going to, you will have made a decision and you've assessed this decision, you've went over it, you've done the research, you've done the, the backing, you've done your due diligence. And I feel like travel, again, could be involved. Some of you may be planning a trip, maybe even to the Eiffel Tower, maybe to see some sort of architecture, landscape. It could be towards a mountainous or volcanic area as well. Some of you could be in the travel industry, maybe you're a pilot, or you work in Airbnb, real estate, maybe you drive Uber, maybe you're a semi-driver, I do get something of that nature as well. And then we have the candle. This is about ambition. It is about hustle. So a lot of you have been working on manifesting money. This is about management, high rank, visibility. Some of you, yeah, athletic energy. Maybe you have kind of exhausted yourself by trying to be as ambitious as you can about a certain area uh, in your career. And I feel like it's important that you don't burn the candle at both ends, right? Otherwise, we're gonna see that four of swords coming in where you do get burnout. And it's important here that yes, you manifest money, but also remember when to pause, remember when to fill your cup. It's like going around a, a racetrack needing to come in for a pit stop to check the tires, check the, the gauges, check the oils. It's, it's crucial. It's not that you can't, I mean, you can't not do that. Otherwise, you're gonna, your car's going to blow up or you're not going to win the race here. I feel like it's very important that you make those pit stops to kind of refuel your energy here. And then lastly, we have the tower. So the tower is not like the tower in tarot. This is about earning power. It's about building a business for some of you. And look at that. We actually have sound decision showing up for you, Scorpio. So I absolutely feel like a decision is being made either by you or someone of higher authority. This could be pertaining to the corporate world. Some of you may be leaving the corporate world and going off on your own. Yes, it may feel unstable because you're not quite sure, but I feel like there's a solid grounding here. There's a solid backing, especially if you are honing in on your gifts and your talents. And if this is coming from a place of soul recognition, right? I really want to start that, that candle shop. 
I really want to read tarot on YouTube. I really want to become a Reiki healer and help other people. I feel inspired. This is coming from a place of soul. Whatever it is that you are being called to do, maybe you're being called to, you know, work with people at the grocery store and the the meat department, whatever it may be for you, it doesn't have to necessarily be just spiritual, but it's about uplifting, uplifting. And I, I suppose you probably wouldn't work in a meat department if you're uplifting, uh, but maybe you are maybe you are changing your diet. Maybe you're taking a look at recycling or eating healthier or um, writing a documentary or a podcast to help inform people. I just feel like there is something here that you are being called to do and you're going to know what this is. Okay. You and you only are going to know what this is. And that's why you have this authenticity card, but it's important. It's important it's crucial for you to be flexible in how this comes about because there's not just one way is what I'm getting here there's not just one way of making money or doing it right maybe it has to do with the platform instead of maybe you're seeing the only way to do that is to be on YouTube when maybe you're being guided to go on to you know Fiverr or going on to, to other platforms uh, perhaps this is expansion of your ideas your opportunities instead of saying that's the only way I can do it right I have to in order to write a book get a publisher or get an editor or wherever it may be perhaps there's ways that you can get your your work out there that doesn't have to do with just the mainstream that's kind of the energy I get here for you as well so opening up to new ideas opening up to new ways of thinking to new partnerships as well especially with the two of cups and when it does come to love it's interesting because we do have unrequited love and we have release your ex. So for some of you, yes, this does have to do with maybe the truth of a situation is perhaps this relationship has become too conditional. Maybe you haven't received the support that you've truly needed. Maybe this is uh, you have or share an animal with someone, okay? Or this also has to do with an imbalanced relationship. And the truth of the matter is, you need to heal or there's some sort of healing. Maybe you've planted the seeds a long time ago, but <clears throat> your garden hasn't been growing. Maybe it's year after year after year. You're just kind of looking at, uh, you know, the dead plants or the weeds that have taken over the garden. And maybe it's time for you to completely rototill, right? Maybe it's time for you to plant a garden elsewhere. And so for some of you, there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep something going. And you may be deciding to release the energy, whether it is an ex or someone that there's just not that spark there. Maybe it is a situation where you keep going back and forth because of this imbalance energy. And maybe that's what feels comfortable to you. Maybe you've been with this person for quite some time, but spirit is saying now is the time for you to be flexible and adapt to some new changes coming in here because this is about movement. And if things haven't been moving between you and someone else, I feel like you're being guided to be true to you with the authenticity card. Now for others of you, if you are coming together in a situation, there could be engagement right? This could be engaging with others. It could be opening yourself up, right? That's that reciprocity, the two of cups here. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So yes, for a lot of you, there is new engagements coming in. You're going to see that you have been doing the work here. Something feels a lot more balanced. I do get, <coughs> excuse me, I do get an energy of being a little bit nervous, you may be nervous because maybe you feel like you still have some healing to do, or you may feel that all people are going to treat you like your past person. But with the six of pentacles starting off going into the seven of pentacles, I feel like there's growth here. There's uh, improvement and it's important for you to stay true to you, of course, but be flexible in your thinking. Uh, not everybody is going to show up in the way that they have in the past, okay? And that's because you've been doing the healing, Scorpio. You have been working on your own self-development, working on your health, I'm getting, working on your career, and creating a sense of independence within you. And I definitely get that there is ascension happening here, but be flexible. 
because there is, again, I feel this energy of unconditional love and conditional love. If anybody is putting some sort of deep restrictions or conditions, you may want to look into that further. I mean, yes, boundaries are good, but when it starts to show up as manipulation or control or dominance, that's a whole different category. So just keep your eyes open for that as well. All right, from the soul truth, your first card out here was, what do I believe about money and do my beliefs match my dreams? How does your relationship with money affect your current situation? And this is interesting because again, we have the two of cups, the relationship card. So if this is your own masculine and your feminine energy, this is important because do you believe that you are worthy of money? Do you believe you are capable? Do you trust money and does money trust you? Because money is an energy, Scorpio. It ebbs and flows. You are worthy of it and it's your responsibility to heal your relationship with money as part of your waking up to the whole of you and your purpose. So today's soul action, how can you do this? Take a deep dive into your belief system around money. Are there any beliefs that you need to upgrade to create the results you are wanting most in your life? Write out your money story. Is it time for a sacred shift? What will your next chapter be? Fill in the blank. I am grateful to money because blank. Beautiful. For those of you that would like to be entered into the free reading giveaway, which we'll also do a crystal exercise at the end of this reading as well. But if you want to enter, I want you to post that in the comment section below. I am grateful to money because blank. Why are you grateful for money? It's time to shift this trajectory, this story of scarcity, of poverty conscious mindset, of not having enough, of feeling like we have to be the beggar here, right? This is about you matching your beliefs to your dreams in order to shift the vibration around money for those of you that have been struggling with that dynamic. So again, in the comment section below, I am grateful to money because blank. And I personally will enter you into that free reading giveaway where I draw one winner around the first of the month. All right, next soul truth card. Are you apologizing for your truth, Scorpio? Do you find yourself saying I'm sorry often or you hold your light back? That's why you have authenticity here. That's why this is your key theme. What part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? This could even pertain to your gifts. Maybe you're saying, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not quite sure if, if that message that came through from spirit was intuition or if it was, you know, my mind playing tricks on me. There's something here about you not second guessing your gifts, not second guessing your truth. That's why we have the Ace of Swords. This could be you healing that part of you. Because what inspires you is your intuition, right? This is clarity around your intuition. So let's not apologize for our truth. Today's soul action. Be proud of your truth, Scorpio. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it because you never know whose life you will change. When you are brave enough to speak it, be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give others permission to speak their own truth. There is room for us all. Today's mantra, courage is contagious. Yes, this is you. Definitely being courageous. And this has to do with whatever you are working on within yourself or in a business, creative idea or relationship. It's important for you to feel comfortable enough to be able to express yourself and share your truth. And then lastly here, you have what am I looking for outside myself that is already within me? Are you looking for more guidance, confidence, peace, wisdom, love, or something else? When we search outside ourselves, we can become overwhelmed, frustrated, and never feel quite good enough. It's time to go inward, Scorpio, to find everything you seek. All the answers that you need lie within you. Today is soul action. Breathe in your favorite essential oil. Inhale deeply into your belly. Drop your shoulders and spend some time hanging out with your soul. 
ask for what you need and be ready for the answers. You're going to get some sort of clarity, some sort of truth. A lot of you could even be meditating more. You are really connecting to your, your crown chakra, your higher self. You are receiving messages from your guides, your angels, your ancestors. So trust the messages that you're receiving. Some of you may even want to start writing things down, journaling, because you're going to surprise yourself when you come back to it and say, wow, I wrote that down in the morning and it happened throughout the day. Or this is the information I got for myself that I, I second guess. And then I go back to it later and I realize that, yes, it was something that was for my highest good. So you could start to notice that you gain a sense of trust and truth the more that you write things down and kind of go back on them and look at them. All right, let's get a few messages from the Crystal Spirits. And at this time, Scorpio, I just ask if you can, please close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in from your solar plexus chakra, your belly area. And with your eyes closed upon your exhale, I'd like for you to tune into that third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I want you to imagine the first crystal or gemstone that shows up in your mind's eye. Now this could be a crystal that's shining bright and sparkly. Perhaps it's a gemstone that you're currently wearing, holding, or it could be a personal favorite. You may know the name of the gemstone. Maybe it's one that you've worked with before. Or perhaps you can only feel the vibrations and frequencies that your gemstone emits, whether it be love, grounding, healing, or spiritual enlightenment. There is no right or wrong answer, Scorpio. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you're ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, again, all you need to do is drop your crystal or gemstone in the comment section below the video. And I personally will enter you into that giveaway where I draw one winner around the first of each month and post right back here on the channel. So please make sure you do hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss that notification. All right, another transformational stone. I believe, Scorpio, it was also either Virgo or Leo that received this crystal as well, or this piece of tectite, it's Moldavite. And for those of you that are familiar with Moldavite, it is a powerhouse. It is one of those stones that you don't want to take lightly because it really does shift and alter your world in big ways. This is the stone of transformation, rebirth through fire, initiation, and opening to new experiences. It's all about revitalization and renewal, that four of swords. When it comes to love, as you transition to a new you, you will become part of a new group of people, for you are having new experiences that differ from those that came before. Old friends will be there for you, but new ones will appear, drawn to your vibration, which resonates with theirs. Although you are being initiated into a new experience, you will not be alone, so leave your fears at the door. Your community will find you and you will know that you belong as they embrace you as one of their own. You will feel the love as you adjust to this new role, confident in the potential of those you care about coming along with you. Encourage them to believe that they too can let go of the past and transition into something better. Beautiful energy here. Yeah, there's going to be people that you take with you on your journey and there's going to be other people that just don't align with your energy and that's okay. It's part of the growth here. And when it comes to money and abundance, the appearance of Moldavite, Moldavite is a sure sign that you're closing the door on the past in some way and stepping into a new you, ready for what lies ahead. 
You again will not be alone and you will encounter many signs that you have what you need and that your foundation is strong. And we talked about that with the tower. Like I said here, the tower, you can see that it has a strong foundation at the bottom. You're going to climb your way to the top. And I feel real quickly for a lot of you, you may feel a little shaky right now. After all, you're not used to this territory, but you've passed the audition, so to speak, and you are ready to step into the prosperous life you deserve. Beautiful. Now, Moldavite is a green tektite thought to have been formed when a meteor meteorite crashed into the Czech Republic over 14 million years ago. It is a crystal heralding massive transformation on all levels. This is not a stone to play with or take lightly, and it's definitely not recommended for those unwilling to step out of their comfort zone. And we see that here where some of you may have been stagnant in a comfort zone for quite some time. For those of you that are really ready to shake out of this, utilize the energy of Moldavite, okay? And then buckle up because things are going to get interesting. So if you have been wanting to move forward on your path, right, we have flexibility. Be flexible. You're going to have to be adaptable when Moldavite shows up here for you. So powerful energy. And again, I can't recall if it was Virgo or Leo, but if you have any of those placements in your chart, you may want to check that reading out as well, especially if it is your moon or your rising sign. I do suggest checking those out for your monthlies, but there's major transformation heralding within your energy. And I feel like you're bringing things into balance, even though they may feel shaky, even though it may feel like things are in the midst of some healing and some chaos and some big choices and changes because that's when we're on the precipice of big things. When we have some big choices to make in our lives, whether it be career, health, money, relationships, love, whatever it may be, that's what heralds the big change. And sometimes we stay in the energy of indecisiveness because we're afraid of what the changes are going to bring. And I feel for you, it's going to bring something really, really amazing, really beautiful. You're going to start to see a lot more harvest, a lot more growth. You're going to see the gain. So don't give up because again, I was picking up on even March, April energy of some really beautiful gifts, celebratory energy coming in for you. And we see that here as well. So thank you so much, Scorpio, for tuning in. If you like the messages here, if they do resonate, thank you, Spirit. I'm getting the name here, uh, Ren Renel or Renee or okay Ren Renel please take that as it resonates maybe it's a last name a place a location uh Renel or Nell E L L E could be significant for some of you as well I also get it's time to upgrade shoe wear or maybe some of you work in a shoe store or maybe it's time to get some new shoes or there could be something with feet I mean shoes also represent forward movement as well Scorpio so it could be time to move forward so maybe it's getting those running shoes on or uh, taking a look at your feet taking care of your feet Again, please take that as it resonates. If you like the messages, please hit that thumbs up button, Scorpio. It certainly helps get the divine channel messages out there to those that need it most. It certainly gets the messages out in the algorithm, which helps the channel, and I greatly appreciate. Thank you so very much for tuning in today. Lots of love.